I'm Leah, and I am the creator for Charlie Darwin Textiles. I make all linen clothing, and I dye it with pigments from plants. And as I've been sewing clothing over the past few years, I've been thinking about how quickly linen biodegrades. I've been working with the linen clothes for a while now, and I've seen for myself just how soft and earthy they feel, but I'm interested in what happens to them really after they've been worn, after their lifetime on our bodies. You know, as far as how much clothing goes to landfills, how can that clothing actually be turned back into the soil in a safe and healthy way? I am now starting a project called Shirt to Dirt, which is a community-based project. I want to get as many people in the United States involved as possible. And I'm interested to know how long does it take a linen shirt to turn back into dirt? So I'm putting together experiment kits that have linen pieces that you would bury underground and over time upload pictures to our online database so we can see the process of linen biodegradation over time. I was really inspired not just to do this as solely a simple science experiment, But I wanted to get some of that storytelling in there about what happens when fabric transforms and and biotic material really transforms into the earth. So sometime last year, I was selling just fabric bundles of offcuts from my clothing line that have been plant dyed. And artist uh, Emma Freeman purchased one of the bundles and she did something I had never expected anyone to do with them. She sew them together in a really unique way to make a fabric book. And then she buried it underground and actually saw that process of degradation and photographed it over time. And she was really experimenting with a lot of themes of transformation and co-creation with the earth in a way that I absolutely loved and was so drawn to. So I reached out to Emma and she is graciously willing to help guide us along the way for one portion of this project and help give us prompts for reflection and creativity in making some fabric books for ourselves to bury. So I'm going to let Emma introduce herself and tell us a little bit more about how she got hooked on creating fabric books and why she chose to bury them underground. Mm. Hi, everybody. I'm Emma. I I'm an artist in Wisconsin, and I started making these fabric books a few years ago when I was going through a big life transition and was drawn to hand stitching for the first time. I had done many other creative things in my life, and meditative slow stitching really pulled me in at that time to help me process what I was going through. And after I made a bunch of those books, one day the idea came to bury one of them. So. I went outside and dug a hole in my yard and put it in, put the book in the ground for 30 days and dug it back up. And it was amazing to dig it back up and and hold it in my hands and notice the ways that it had transformed in these, some subtle ways, some really dramatic ways, but I could feel the energy of the earth inside the book. And I was totally hooked and so I, kept making books and kept burying them and found that the process was has been it's this creative process it feels really good to make these tangible books with the earth but it also is therapeutic and healing in ways that I can't find words for but I can feel and so I've invited other people into the practice to make their own buried books and that's what we'll be doing together with this project too which I'm really excited about. Awesome. So if you want to get involved in this project, there's two ways to participate. If you're feeling a little bit more creative, you can get involved with this buried meditation book project. Uh, I'll send you a kit that includes fabric, needle, linen thread, everything is plant dyed. And then you'll receive some really great guidance from Emma on guidance and inspiration on ways you could put together your book and make it your own, as well as instructions for how to actually upload the photos to our online database over time. If you're feeling a little bit less artistic or maybe have a little bit less time to devote to this project, there's also the simple science version where I'll just send you five squares of plain linen fabric 
and have you bury them underground and dig one up every week to take a photo and submit it. If you're interested in participating in this experiment, we're so happy to have you and really grateful for your time and energy that you're willing to invest into these really interesting questions. You can go ahead and sign up at charliedarwintextiles.com. All right. Thank you. So excited to see you in there. Bye.